yet. I mean, nobody's living there. It's abandoned. Now we do. Do. Welcome uh, to Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like swimming in in uh, platinum pieces. We could probably we uh, stay at the uh, grandest hotel or in in the city. I give a sigh. You know, the reason I I thought about townhouse wasn't because we don't have money because we do. But Brotherhood managed to bribe this guy a week ago to look for something and deal with stalkers. So who is to say that they didn't bribe anybody else? So if we stay at the inn, they have bribed somebody that will try to poison us or kill us in our sleep. Look, I don't know uh, if uh, you know this, but guards are the most easily uh, bribed uh, People around. Uh, everybody looks. I, at, everybody uh, looks at Samuel. I uh, yeah, I was just about to say. George <laughs> just kind of stares at Samuel and says, "Duly noted." Yeah, <laughs> I give a sigh. Everybody can be bribed. I, however, right price. am a deputy. But you're still a type of guard, right? Yeah, wanna be guard. I mm. am of the highest echelons of guards, but you're still a guard, right? <laughs> Are you yeah. insinuating something? I, 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 I maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of uh, stare at uh, uh, Orin and want to make a um, intimidate check. You can't actually intimidate me because our HD by our hit dice are the same. Damn it. You can, can try. I, as, as you guys are how you standing roll. there, staring at each other, I'm assuming you've been walking around the city for a bit. Probably. Two guys walk up to you. 28. Nice. All right, so Oren <laughs> says, uh, no, I'm not really insinuating Jack. Who comes up to us? Two guys. Okay. Like, they walk up to uh, Samuel specifically and like... No, no. Start hugging him. Hey, it's been a while. We have some... You should come with us. We have some business with you. Uh, do I recognize any of them? Nope. Uh, I look at the... The, the, the other one says, welcome back, brother. Brother? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't You guys don't look alike whatsoever. I gotta <laughs> say. I, I look at Torian. And... I don't know, would that be a basic wisdom or intelligence or if, if they are saying brother as in family connections or brother that they think that Samuel is a member of brotherhood? That would explain why everyone's so obsessed with him. I don't say, I say that very short, like quietly. Mm. Well, mm. hi, my name is Oren. I'm a, I'm a buddy of your brother. Um, really, you guys really don't look alike. Holy shit. Like, are you, are you, like, is Samuel adopted, or...? <laughs> uh, I just... Uh, uh, look at the uh, others in the... The, in the, the, guy, the guy looks at Orin and says, Samuel here is a brother in our Lord's eye. I just blink. Yeah. Alright, so that's... I, I, so uh, does that on, mean hang on, that... Hang on, hang on. Uh, I look at Orin, I look at Colbert, and uh, just... Uh, uh, not give uh, Colbert a uh, inconspicuous nod and says, sure, um, why don't we talk about this in the usual place as I uh, uh, start walking uh, towards the uh, uh, two strangers. Wait, you guys have a usual place? Samo, I thought you were like mostly in Sandpoint, not here. Orin, shut the fuck up. They start what? walking away and one of them says, Hey, let's go, guys. Let's grab some drinks on the way. We still got a couple hours. The guy's like, Yeah, sure. And then they both put their arms over Samuel and walk off towards the bar. I will follow after them because I'm very curious about, about Samuel's family. 
<laughs> Let it go for your fixed skull. These are probably cultist members. So. Alright. Uh, I just. Uh... He was one of them all along? Orin, shut the fuck up. This is not the time for your antics. I don't. I feel so betrayed right now. I don't know what right. uh... Tell me why! I they walk up to a bar that has a rather large yeah. burly man standing outside of it. He nods right. uh, to them, we, they nod to him, that, and then they walk in. God damn it, oh. do you hear me? Okay. Uh, before that, I, before I'm uh, r walked off, uh, and uh, I uh, just uh, uh, look back to the others and uh, say, uh, I'll catch uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. You guys can wait uh, at the uh, uh, at the mansion for now. <laughs> Roll sense motive. Uh, if that is to pass any kind of um, secret message, it's a bluff check. It's for you. It's a bluff check, and for us, a sense motive. Mm -hmm. um, right. So it's a, it takes a penalty to us, if I remember. I'm going to find the rules on that, on passing secret messages, because that's an actual thing with bluff. And it's amazing, yeah. and I've used it a lot because it's hilarious. <laughs> Please follow me, don't let them kill me. You can bluff <laughs> to pass hidden messages to another character without others understanding your true meaning. The DC of this check is 15 or for simple messages and 20 for complex messages. If you are successful, the target automatically understands you, assuming you are speaking in a language that it understands. If your check fails by five or more, you deliver the wrong message. <laughs> Other creatures that hear the message can decipher the message by succeeding in a post-sense motive against your bluff result. Oh, shit. I would say right. it's 20 because it's not what, like, because you're, you're trying to tell them to do the opposite while looking at them. No, that is a simple message. Don't. It's listen. a pretty simple one. Uh, yeah. Alright, so what the, uh, I would say, well, I would say, like a simple message would be like using like hand signals or something. No, no, right, it's a simple so message. What's what he's the trying DC to say. of blinking? Yes. Uh, that would be a complex one if you're trying to convey it in fucking Morse code. True. <laughs> that would be twenty. <laughs> I guess that's a good point. So I guess it would. Yeah, I guess it would be simple and then complex if he was doing hand ones. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, look, I have their stats right here. Hmm? Hmm? Right, yeah. so what, what's the DC for just blinking at them? No, no, you, oh. just, you say what you want and make a DC 15 bluff check. Mm hmm hmm. All right. All right, you guys can uh, wait by the manor for now. 15. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, we understand. So we understand <laughs> the secret message, and now they make a... Uh, sense motive to see whether they understand it or not. They, one doesn't. Both do. Yeah. Nice. They both fail to understand. Orin, however, is completely. Actually, no. It automatically. Fuck. Yeah. It, I want to be oblivious. God damn it. <laughs> you can still be oblivious. <laughs> Orin is too busy feeling betrayed. You you just don't care. <laughs> He's like a part of him died on the inside. No, you, 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 you focused on the part of him trying to tell you to not follow him. Yeah. <laughs> to not understand that he was telling you to please follow him. You uh, make a wisdom check. <laughs> sure. This beast light winking. Uh, mm. uh, Samuel gave to the group. I think Orin understands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. It. Well, the question is, is, does Orin want to understand? Orin is in denial. He is going to. He was probably going to follow them anyway. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, anyways, yeah. So, like I said, along the way, they stop into a bar and they like nod to the uh, bouncer, and he nods back, and then they go in. Do you try to follow them into the bar? I am a. Bit hesitant, but I'm going to. They they they, dru they drugged you along with them. They drugged you? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh no! Drug, well, oh my drug in a yeah, body, well, not a drug. 
No, I heard drugged. They drugged you. I'm like, wow, this went <laughs> fast. <laughs> wow, that is the thing you generally do the second day. Yeah. <laughs> Not if they're Bill Cosby. <laughs> I can just imagine Colbert being so unstale that they hear him from inside the building while he's like a quarter away. <laughs> he's on the other side of the city, and they can hear him. So Orin, Orin looks at. As they are, as they walk into the bar, and we are kind of standing a ways away, or kind of looks at both Kest and Colbert. All right, so how do we kill Sam then, if he's a uh, part of the cultists? I look at Orin as like, you know, I'm not sure if you're fucking with me or if you really are that dense. Mm. Mm. I am not. I'm, I'm not a forest, so I can't really be dense. But all right, good, good I try, know. buddy. I pat him on the head. Uh. So I'm gonna explain well, a simple words like a child would understand. They think he is a member of their cult. Samuel is not a member of the cult. He's running a sting operation now. Trying um, uh, he's undercover, do you understand that word, Torin? Ah. Alright. I totally understand what you're saying. Alright, so what's our plan in all this? I mean as soon as we hear his girl is scream, we run in and save him. I pretty think that's pretty much our goal here. Hmm. I mean, you went into that bar, right? Yeah, I'm gonna stand yes. on watch on the outside, and if somebody suspicious comes in, then the we can the be prepared for trouble. Or if, I mean, hopefully Samuel is smart enough, he knows that we know, and he knows what he's doing, so he will not be ambushed easily, and he will be able to survive long enough that we will be able to come aid him. Meanwhile, Samuel is thinking, I am so fucked and right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Orin looks at Kest and says, Alright, so do you have any kind of spells that do, like, the, the I can't see you thingy? Make you hide and stuff? No. Are, 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 are you certain? I do not. Alright, yes. so you can, you can create, can like, random... you, you create balls of snow, right? Yeah. I could blow down. I could blow down the wall, but I couldn't make myself invisible yet. Oh yeah, yeah. good. If you oh, can blow yeah. down the wall, that's all we need. <laughs> Beyond that, um, so do we enter the bar or do we stay outside? As I said, as soon as things start getting hectic, we run in and save Samuel. Mm. All right. Well, if I understood correctly, the... there's a bouncer on the outside, so we don't want to make trouble with him because he might not let us in. Right, so ignoring the fact that that might, that might be the only entrance, who's going to find any other entrances in this place? Me? I mean, Orin, you are pretty good good eyes, you know. You could probably w look around. Alrighty, I'll do that then. And I, I start... Mean, you, <laughs> you may be suspicious, but I, I think you're so suspicious that anybody would look at you suspiciously. Mm. I will just have a... Or I could have a stare down with the bouncer. That would also yeah. be fun. I just imagine uh, if uh, you know Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Armstrong and Sick Curtis have a flex off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, that's what I'll do. I'll start walking around the building and um, look for any other entrances or exits to the place. There is a back door. All right. I'll kind of lean against one of the walls of another building and just stare at the back door. If there's a bouncer there, I'll just have a stare off with the bouncer. Not so much, but there might be someone inside or something, you know now. Oh, that's fine. I don't every, every so often, like, someone comes out and dumps some stuff, then goes back inside. <laughs> As they're dumping stuff and I wait for a moment after they're gone, I, I look, if anyone's followed me, did anyone follow me, or am I alone at the back door? Hello. Aw. So I shout, because Orin. I shout, Oi! Guest, I think I found your dinner. Uh, Kest starts walking towards the place. Like, he's grumbling towards himself, but like, Oh, well, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi. So, I had an idea. Okay. What if... There's also, a, you know how everywhere we've gone up to now, it has like this secret underground passageway thing? Yeah. What if this place has that too? And what if they take little Sammy there, and then they cut up his dick there? I don't know. 
Yeah, how will we that's... hear him? How will we hear his girly screams then? Uh, I mean, he he screams very loudly. They yeah, order a on the inside. They they sit down at the table and order a couple drinks, and they look at you expectantly. Senpai notices. <laughs> All right, I. Uh... The waiter is Just also look. looking at you. All right, so. Who talks first? You talk first. I talk first. The they're they're offering you. Like they're waiting for you to order a drink is what they're doing. Oh. One ruffless ill ale, please. Uh one of the uh one Uh let's see, what should I pick? Uh what the hell? I'll have I'll have whatever they're having. All right. Waiter nods and walks away. Three cyanides coming up. Wait, what? <laughs> Three essence of belladonna is coming up. <laughs> All right. Uh, and go ahead. Off. Hmm? Hang on. What? what was that? Essence of belladonna is nightshade. All right, so Nightshade is okay, a I was kidding. right. Yeah, I was kidding. It was a joke. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I, I can never tell with you. That's fair. That's harsh, because it's basically saying your jokes aren't funny. <laughs> I think they are. That's the important part. True. As long as you can laugh at yourself... So the uh, the master says he has something special for us tonight. As they're oh. sitting there drinking. And what exactly is that? He says that he's gotten a message from Father Skinsell himself. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and how daring of you to scar your eye like that, wear it in public. Oh, you mean this? And I point to my scar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Senpai is that's, so that's daring. How we knew you, that's how we knew you were a brother. Oh yes, of course. Uh, you, well, you know, I sometimes, in order to uh, stay hidden, you got to stand out, you know. True. So. It's at least a. Where'd you come? Where'd you come from? Like I. Know there's other cults in, like Chaliax and whatnot, but I thought we were the only one in Verzia. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently not. True. So, uh, all the, I am also very excited to uh, finally meet uh, someone else like me, who, uh, but, uh, so how, exactly how many of you are there in uh, Magnemar. All of a sudden, someone pops out of the shadows and stabs Colbert in the neck and disappears. Oh, God. Yeah. Roll a new character, Colbert. <laughs> read, read, read what he wrote in chat. <laughs> also, please do not kill me. Rip. This is like... That's akin to asking for it, damn it, Colbert. The one time my uh, back, uh, my backstory uh, trait actually comes into play, or well, 
besides saving my life. I would, um, the master said that the final blooding will happen soon. Sexy? The final blooding, you say? And we are to all have a part in it. <laughs> Ritual suicide! Right. <laughs> Ring, ding, stick, and lay it, everyone. Thanks for playing. <laughs> See you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And we will. Uh, when will this take place? Well, that's what we're going to learn tonight. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Roll me knowledge religion. Uh, knowledge religion. I mean, uh, I, I imagine as soon as they're going to tell us where it is, me and, like, Kest and Orin break the door up and start killing everybody. <laughs> 18. <laughs> it's going to happen suddenly from the back door. 18 Orin from what it. they've said between Father Skinsaw and the final blooding. These are cultists of Norgeber. Uh, cultists of what now? Norgeber. <laughs> <It's> God. <laughs> Dorgeber. <laughs> Fork. Norgorber. 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 Not Norgorber. 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 They call for some Turkistan. Turkistan. Norgorber. Norgorber. Anyway. So they both stand up and. So it's like, well, it's about time, so let's get going. Alright. And I give a, a nod to the bartender and uh, continue on our way. He nods back. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got the message. Th th then, he, then he turns and nods to someone else. <laughs> then he nods back and then he turns and nods <laughs> to someone else. <laughs> Then he turns yeah. to you and nods. I <laughs> someone in, else in, nods. The back, in like the back fucking suddenly or in the door opens to the back but, door, a head pops out and someone nods at you. Yeah, 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 actually I was about to say, yeah. That person nods back at Simon and then pops out and that's Orin. <laughs> I I just kinda of blink a look from side to side and then I look at Kest. When, when he looks then you look when he looks side to side you see someone else and he's staring at you waiting for you to nod. Oh oh I'll <laughs> nod at him. He, he nods back and disappears around the corner. Like, alright, that was the strangest <laughs> fucking moment of my life. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> I feel violated. <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Colbert, you, you see the three of them step out of the front of the bar. And uh, and someone pops around a corner and nods at the bouncer. And the bouncer nods back and then nods at the two cultists. What I is this? The cultists nod back. <laughs> I ignore it because my mind cannot handle such stupidity. So I try to look as inscupicuous as possible. <laughs> so they start blank, heading blank. south. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, probably. They yep. probably allow them to get some distance <laughs> and then follow. <laughs> Hoping that Cast and Orin will do the same. I'm I'm around the back, so I can't actually see see them leave. Yeah. <laughs> and so they start heading towards the docks, which is where I believe the seven sawmill is. You're checked. on your own unless you get me, or us, I suppose. I mean, when they did a distance, I'm like, Oi, lizard man! Yep, it, it is on Kyver's Islet, so they start heading for the island. The island? Oh. Yes. Sexy. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that time. Okay, I thought they were gonna take a boat or something. I mm. throw like a new, like a... Oh, yeah, and then like a whistle a moment when they manage to take some distance and then I start following. All right. Also Hoping that these answer. two fools or like one fool will be able to figure it out. We, I am not a fool, good sir. I am a genius. But yes, mm -hmm. uh, once I hear the whisper, or oh, whistle, I start following. Okay. I follow him, because why not? So it's like almost south side of the city, near Ordelia. Mm -hmm. So, by the time you get there, it's... The sun's going down and it's night, and so there's not much sound going on here. This is like the big industry part of the city, so it's where the sawmill is, other industry things. I don't know. Glassworks, probably. Hey! Anyways, um... So we stab so the goblins the, the glasswork. <laughs> the three of them walk up to the entrance to the sawmill. One of them pulls out a key and locks the door. There you go in. They wait for yeah, Simon. They see us following them very inconspicuously. <laughs> they see a, a three, they three see different sized cardboard boxes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you every time they look, every time they look, the cardboard boxes stop moving, and every time yeah. they look, they've moved. Though every time they look at it, it yeah, moves yeah. slightly closer. Mm. But they don't think anything weird about it. Why would yeah. they? It's They're just a cardboard, cardboard box. box. Yeah, who would pay any attention to that? In the middle of the road. <laughs> yes, and one is huge. <laughs> It's no, it's... it's not just a uh, a cardboard bar. It's the one foot tall brick wall. In the middle of the road? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, and a yes. one foot tall is kind of tiny. Anyway, so what, hap what happens now? Does, Col does Samuel get stabbed in the butt? In one of them thinking a lot. What does he answer the building? Hmm? Does he enter the building? Yeah. All right. This has the map. Ooh. I have not put up the map. <laughs> Give me a minute. Break time. The map may be, the map may be put up or later. Wait, we're having a random break? And, and loading right. screen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can take like a five minutes so you to grab mm -hmm. something to drink yeah. and eat. <laughs> 